Good morning, everybody. Welcome to another episode of FTL. This is Dead M5337, and we are heading to the rock controlled neb er, section of space. The rock people are powerful and proud race. It is not unheard of to have a peaceful journey through their lands, but don't count on it. Continue. Onwards. Yes, you find a rock ship docked with a damaged Mantis freighter. Before you have the chance to hail them, the ship moves into attack, and you red register teleporter symbols from a disabled ship. They're using Mantis tech to board you. Continue. Well, that's fine. Here. Suck out all the air. That's fine. Boop, boop. Boop. There you are. Ooh. Well, that's why I get for not paying attention. There you are. Do, 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 do. All right, ship explodes, leaving behind us the central collection of useful scrap material. Sorry if I'm being a little quiet. I'm just trying to go and pay attention to these ruffians who are destroying my ship. All right, good job. Jump, distress signal, and then that'll give me a good view uh, and see if there's a store nearby. If not, we'll just upgrade our ship shields. Here, a ship without life forms is nearby a dense asteroid field. It's giving off a distress signal. Shall we investigate? It should. It could be dangerous. Search the ship. You find the decaying remains of some kind of ship coated in ice or crystal. You send some crew aboard to explore. Nearby, everything is either destroyed or unidentified, but one of the weapons appears to be salvageable, and there's a strange stasis pod that catches your eye. Continue. Uh, it looks like a massive asteroid is on a direct collision course with the derelict ship. You have to pull your crew out, but you want to grab... What you can first. What do you take? The weapon and any spare scrap or the stasis pod. So, interestingly enough, this is the start of unlocking the crystal ship. It does require essentially doing four parts and i remember the first two of that so let's grab the stasis chamber seeing as it is only uh second world and we'll see what we can do you're your crew drags the pod back to your ship before the asteroid smashes into the ship, shattering through the crystal coating and destroying the ship. The pod appears to be functioning, but you see nothing but shards of crystals inside. Perhaps someone else will know how to open it. The damaged stasis pod and 14 scrap. Nice. All right. So it's one of those things where it sits in your augments. And it is completely worthless uh, as far as any benefit to you, but it is worth uh, unlocking. If, if we go and find the Zoltan uh, people who are studying long-term stasis, they can unlock it for us. And then we'll have a crystal crew member which is essentially a rock crew member with the ability to crystallize an entire room. Uh, I can't give you fuel, I'm sorry. 
All right, onwards. There are only two ships within range, and they seem to be engaged in battle. One of them has the markings of a space pirate. Aid the civilian ship. You power up your weapons and engage the pirate ship. Continue. Boop, boop, and boop. All right. Ooh, I really should have powered up my, uh... uh good job. Good job dodging. I really should have powered up my uh, shields, and then I wouldn't feel so nervous. But right now we can go and just keep uh, their weapons down. As long as the only weapon that they get up is that one laser, we're fine. Nice, a fire. Pirate ship breaks apart, and you hasten to contact the civilian ship. It seems the crew did not survive the assault. You take what you can of the remains of their ship. That is sad. Stores. Stores, stores, stores. Mm, let's go down first. Mm-hmm. Worthless, worthless. All right, close, jump. We're gonna go back and we're gonna go up. Just because I want to see both stores. Anything worthwhile? Scrap recovery arm, that's nice. Drone control, mind control, these aren't great. Drone control is helpful, but. Scrap recovery arm is way more helpful. Fuel, yay. Ship, do we have anything worth selling? No. All right. So let's just put power into it. Even though we can't activate yet, it's still nice. So jump. All right, you exit the jump surrounded by dirt rocks. Before long, the blast is detected by your shields. You, that was no asteroid. Incoming pirate, continue. And kaboom. Good job. Oh, they took out my... All right, they aren't dodging. Good job. All right, suck out the air. There we go. All right, ship explodes, leaving behind a substantial collection of useful scrap material. Stuff. Great. We can't upgrade our ship right now because we're in the asteroid field. I understand why, because technically if your shields were down, you'd be screwed. And they don't want you to cheese uh, a repair of your shields. All right, you find a slug cruiser and a rock ship in a standoff, both with weapons arms and ready to fight. You could interfere before this gets out of hand. Hail them to see what's wrong. Slug Captain explains that they upgraded the rock ship reactor and now the thick boulder heads are refusing to pay for the work done. The rock captain says the slime balls did a poor job and it's not worth the agreed upon price. Well, bullshit. Hey. With a grumble, the rock captain agrees to the paid price. Continue. Slug Captain offers a free reactor upgrade for your help. It never hurts to get a little bit of power boost. Nice. Let's upgrade our shields. There we are. We're going to turn off our clone bay and put our shields up to level two. 
It's not ideal, but it is doable. All right, down. Hello. Your communicator opens up with the hail of the nearby ship. Our weapon systems are malfunctioning, and we're too afraid of pirates to travel home unassisted. Can you escort us? We'll give you two fuel. Accept. Great. Take this bit of fuel as down payment, and we'll be one step behind you, following your jump signatures. Don't want to take any risks now, do we? Add to the quest marker. Fantastic. Jump. Quest is in the next sector. Good job. Okay. So we can head here and then exit. So let's do that. Asteroids. A um, rock mining vessel harvesting rich, uh, the mineral rich asteroids in this locally. And their scouts take your presence to be transgression. Battle stations. Boop, boop. And boop. Yes. It definitely is something. We keep missing. Really? Stop missing. Well, nobody's piloting it, so can't miss anymore. Good job. Just keep on wrecking them. Wreck their face. Ship explodes, leaving behind a substantial collection of useful scrap material. Continue. Well, if I use my scrap recovery arm, we can do the same mining that they were doing. But you won't let me. To the exit. You arrive at Long Range Beacon when your FTL drive is charged. You can jump to the next sector. Continue. You find a rebel combat ship has been reassigned as an emergency supply vessel for local civilians are apparently in need of help. And the rebels are risking to rising to the occasion. Uh, attack the rebels. Nope. That's fine. Really? No! Wasn't paying attention. Oh, phooey. That's why having the clone bay down. the rebels destroy you take time to collect what scrap remains uh they've already delivered to the civilians leave this feel from the civilians screw you cause hand over your supplies it appears to be mostly equipment meant to for automated farming but you can make use of it as you leave you receive a message this is why the rebels will always have support uh, sure. In no way is this because uh, the alliance is dirty, filthy, mean peoples. All right, we're going to add one more power so that we can have our ship powered as well as our clone bay. All right, everybody go back to your stations. here go here and die thank you and we'll rebuild a clone oh 
of your lord. All right. Everybody is back in their stations. I hope everybody is cool next next time. Uh, looks like Angie controlled. All right. Hope you all enjoyed yourselves. Please be sure to go and like, comment, subscribe, do the fun things, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.